Hi there, and welcome to EDUC 4108, Leveraging Technology for Learning. My name's Rob Power, and I'm an assistant professor with the Department of Education here at CBU. And I'd just like to welcome you to the course. And the purpose of this video is to actually give you a little bit of an overview of what you can expect when you log into Moodle and you encounter all of the resources in the course site. Now, you may not be participating in the spring of 2020, but never fear, the general layout of this course will still be the same. Depending on the term that uh, you're taking, you'll see a different term listed here. Otherwise, the general layout will pretty much be the same with some minor updates from term to term, just to update some links and some dates and things like that. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you log into the course is that at the top of the course homepage, you're going to find everything that you need ongoing throughout the term. There's an, a news and, uh, news and announcements forum. I suggest that you check that daily, a questions and help forum. Uh, student lounge, this is a good place if you want to discuss anything with other people in the class that's not particularly course related, just general chit chat. Uh, if we're going to be meeting virtually as we are in the spring of 2020, then there'll be a block here with information about our online meeting space. The time that we'll be meeting will be listed here with a link to get into the space and the join code for the team. If we're going to be meeting on campus, then this will be replaced with a block that just says uh, class meeting time and we'll have the location of our meeting room and the date and time that we're going to be meeting. Below that, you're going to find general course resources like how to contact me or whoever the instructor is for the term. You'll find a downloadable copy of the official course syllabus for this term and some information on how to optimize your time with online courses. Just below the uh, course resources, you're going to find a block called assignments. All of our major assignments for the term will be listed here. In our case, the majority of these are placeholder assignments. You don't need to submit anything to these particular blocks. This is where you'll come to find the uh, instructions for each of the assignments. You'll also be able to find your grade there once that is posted. In some cases, there will be an assignment drop box here. You'll receive explicit directions. In the assignment instructions as well as later on in the course under the weekly instructions as to which assignment you're working on and where to submit that assignment. The weekly activity blocks can be found below the main course resources. You'll see that I have these organized by week, week one, week two. I also have the date range listed here to make it very easy for you to find. Now, week one looks a little overwhelming. There are a lot of resources here, but that's because this is a getting started week, and a lot of these are things that you're going to need to get yourself up and running. So I'll look at week two. It's a better example of what you can expect week to week. Again, this is organized here. It's got the date range, so you know which week you're working on. All of your readings and activities are going to be listed near the top of the area. You'll see here there's a thing that we call the Moodle book. You can get into this and get all of your uh, readings and resources for the week. They're nicely organized. You can easily print this entire Moodle book all at once if you want a PDF copy or, or a paper copy of it. You just scroll on down here to print book or print this chapter if you want to print a subchapter of it. And you can do the whole thing with one shot. Below this, you'll find a couple of discussion forums for the week. In some cases, we may have just the one discussion forum for questions that are posed in our readings throughout the week. In other cases, there may be a second forum, and that will be used for posting some of the assignments that you'll be working on throughout the term. We'll actually have a forum where you'll post a link to the copy of your digital assignment. Below this, you're going to see something called a weekly checklist. This is just to help you keep track. Uh, you can check this off yourself as you go through. Every time you log in and log out of Moodle, these check marks that you put here will stay, so you'll know exactly what you have completed and what is yet to go. You'll recall I mentioned a few moments ago that near the top of the page, there's a few key discussion forums like news and announcements and questions and help. This questions and help form is going to be a key one for you to keep uh, in mind throughout the term. I ask that if you have any questions or uh, requests for help that are of a general nature, that are not private or personal, 
that you post them here under the questions and help discussion forum. That's going to help you to manage your time uh, as well as uh, me as your instructor to manage my time. Uh, I won't have to answer the same question multiple times if I've received them by email or by phone call or in person. And you may find that one of your classmates has already asked the same question and there's an answer already posted to it. One of your classmates might even be able to help you to answer that question. So it'll be a one-stop shop for you for general course-related questions, assignment-related questions, and things like that. If you do have a question or request for help that is personal in nature, that's sensitive or private, or that is uh, very time sensitive, you need a really quick response, then by all means, contact me by email. You can find my instructor contact information down here under this link. You'll find my email, my phone number, my office number, all of that information that you need to get a hold of me quickly. If we are going to be meeting using a virtual meeting space in a given term rather than in an on-campus classroom, then that information is going to be posted here in this area called the online meeting space block. It's going to have a link to our meeting space as well as the date and time, and it's going to have some information on how to join the space and how to access our team meetings. If we're using Microsoft Teams, you can access the Teams online version by clicking on this link here. You can also download the desktop app version of Microsoft Teams, and I highly recommend it. It's a very useful tool, a nice one-stop shop for getting access to all of your team's resources. But accessing online will also get you most, if not all, of the same tools. The only thing you need to remember is that if you are going to access Microsoft Teams online, then you should be using the Google Chrome browser. Uh, some of the functionalities for the Microsoft Teams meetings don't work properly if you're using Safari or Opera or Firefox. So make sure that you install and use Chrome if you're going to use Microsoft Teams online. Now to access our Teams space, you can simply click on this link. I'm going to open it up in another window here. And it will bring you to Microsoft Teams online. You click on sign in and you use your CBU login credentials. It's going to ask you for your password. And you can click yes to stay signed in if you like. And if you're not already a member of our team, you'll see that I'm a member of a bunch of different teams here. I already have a team set up for this course. If you're not a member of this team, you're going to want to grab that join code and you can actually just copy and paste this. And you're going to want to click on join or create a team. Select the center block here, join with a team code. Paste that in and hit join the team. And you'll be a member of the team. You'll be good to go. For joining our actual team meetings, you can find the link to the meetings under the calendar in Microsoft Teams. So our first meeting for spring 2020 would be on the 4th of May. You'll see the meeting listed here. If you click on this, you're going to see join. You can join the meeting. Once you've joined this team, uh, this is also going to show up in your Microsoft Outlook uh, online webmail access calendar. There'll be a link to join the meeting. However, it's strongly recommended that you actually log into Teams first and join the meeting that way. If you just click on the URL and join the meeting, you're going to see the, uh, the video of all of the, the participants in the meeting. You're going to hear the audio, but you're not going to have access to all of these different functionalities here that are available in Microsoft Teams that you will likely need throughout our uh, online classes to participate in different small group activities. So what you want to do to get yourself up and running before the first week of class is log in here to Moodle. Make sure that you're familiar with the layout of the course website in Moodle where all of the resources can be found. And once you are familiar with all of this, scroll on down to week one. You're going to want to look at uh, all of the resources here under introductions. If you click on meet your instructor, you're going to find a nice little uh, intro video that I have posted as well as some of my contact information. You're also going to find an introductions page here where I have set up a Flipgrid-based activity. 
you can simply click on this plus sign. It's going to turn on your webcam. You can say hello to the rest of the class. Great way to put faces to names where we're not going to be able to meet face to face if we are using an online class format for the term. If you prefer, there is a more standard sharing introductions discussion forum where you can post a test uh, text based uh, intro message and, and uh, say hello to everyone in the course. After that, you're going to want to start looking at the getting started with ICTs curriculum and technology integration weekly readings. You don't need to have all of these readings completed for the first day of the course. You can work on these throughout the week. And then you'll notice that there's a discussion forum where you can post your responses to the questions that are posed in our weekly readings. Get yourself familiar with our EdTech Explorations activities, which are part of Assignment 9 for the course. And be sure to check yourself off on all of the weekly checklist items as you get them done throughout the week. Other than that, your next step will be to make sure that you're set up with Microsoft Teams and that you're ready to join in with the rest of your class for our first online meeting.